struggled with the elemental passions that rose within themselves. For the stresses and strains of frontier life wore thin the nerves as well as the bodies. But whether the sickness was of the body or the soul, there was one man to whom all turned in time of trouble. Rex Allen stars as the Frontier Doctor. I didn't worry much about it at the time. Young Ben Adams chasing Kathy Lambert. After all, young men always have and always will chase girls, especially at roundup time in the spring. About the only time I ever saw Kathy Lambert was maybe once or twice a year. I didn't know Kathy's mother very well either, but I sure had heard a lot about her. She was a widow woman, and Kathy was her only child. She did everything possible to keep Kathy away from men, especially cowboys. No, Ben, please, go away. If Mother sees you. Oh, if Mother sees me, if Mother finds out. Look, I'm tired of hearing about Mother. But, Ben, you don't know. All I know is you're my gal, and I want the whole world to know it. Now, come on. Please, Ben, for your own good. Ben, please, Mommy, please, please, you. Oh, Mother. Oh, Ben. Oh, ben. Come here! Stay away from him! Ben! Look what you've done! Cut! Cut! Stay! Look what you've done! The blood! Let me go! Why are you dying? Shut Let me up! Kill the... Now listen! Shut up! Is that in the house? If I'd have wanted to kill him, I'd have done it. Now you get What did you have to go and do this for? To keep you from making the same mistake twice, cowboy. Oh. oh, stop complaining. You got years left to cuss me out. This wasn't the first time Liz Lambert threatened young men with a gun, but it was the first time she'd ever actually shot anyone. The Lambert foreman, old Al Bixby, came in to fetch me. And inasmuch as I'm obliged to report all gunshot cases to the law, Sheriff Bramble rode out with me to ask the embarrassing questions. I'll talk to Mrs. Lambert. As soon as you know about the boy's condition, let me know. Liz wouldn't tolerate the thought of him under her own roof. He's in my room behind the barn. Figure on trying to put me in jail, Bramble? Depends on whether the boy lives. He'll live. You can't go shooting your own cowhands just because they come calling on your daughter. Look, that's my business. It's no business of yours, Sheriff. Maybe. But I gotta ask a couple questions for my report. Well, come on in. But I don't guarantee to answer anything I don't have a mind to. Help him off with that shirt. Well, you're a lucky boy. It missed the bone. Just went through the flesh. We'll have to clean it out, though. I want to make sure there's not a piece of shirt in there. Can you help me, Mr. Bixby? Doing what? Just hold him, that's all. I'm kind of squeamish about these things. Nobody has to hold me. I'll stay put. Not what you want to do, son. Pain's no respecter of courage. Could I help, sir? I'm afraid this is all my fault, and I'd like to do what I could to help. You better get back to the house, young man. If Liz finds you... Your mother won't need to know if you don't tell, Mr. Bixby. Come on in, miss. Man can always be a lot braver with a pretty girl around. Liz finds you here, we're all done for sure. Let's stop talking about Liz and take care of this boy. What'll I do, Doctor? Just sit down there and hold him. 
Get your feet up on the bed. This might hurt a little bit. Brace yourself. this bandage. Is everything all right, Doc? Everything's fine. I told you to stay in the house, Kathy. I was needed, Mother. I want to be of some use. You go to your room. Now, look here. I don't want to make any fuss. I don't care if you do or not. Get me the buggy with Mr. Bigsby. Ma'am, I, I... Go on, get it. Yes, ma'am. I don't think the whip will be necessary, Mrs. Lambert. Kathy's a grown girl. She's a woman. That's none of your business. It seems to me that when a person goes to shooting at another person and threatening their life, it becomes the business of everyone in the community. Isn't that so, Sheriff? Well, Doc, the lad was trespassing where he'd been warned to keep away. Legally, it looks like she's got a right to take a pot shot and most anybody comes snooping around. Now, is that plain enough, Doctor? And I want all of you to get out of here. And that goes for you, cowboy. You don't scare me with that whip. Maybe she's scared to death, but I'm not. Boy's wounded. I want him off my property and off he gets. I never yet stayed where I was welcome. Let's go, Doc. Don't you think you hate me now? Is that it? What I'm doing is for your own good. Is it? Well, let yourself be pawed and fondled by one of your own paid cowhands. Yes. Yours as well as mine for one of these days, you'll all know this. All he wants from you is your money. That's not true. He never even mentioned marriage. Then that's even worse. I tell you, men are no good. All they'll ever do for you is hurt you and cause you misery. You know what it was like when Father was alive? The drinking, beaten. Does it have to be like that with everybody? Are you going to keep arguing with me after all I've done for you? You want to run away and leave me for some worthless saddle tramp? So I'll teach you, you little ungrateful. I'll tell you one thing. As long as I'm alive, you're going to stay single. I'm going in your room and think it over. A week later, when Ben Adams was well on the men, I took him around to Cleve Harper to try to get him a job. Besides running this livery stable, Mr. Harper's probably one of the biggest cattle brokers in this part of the country. Well, the ordinary is anyway. <laughs> Ben's looking for a job. He's a first-rate cowhand and a good wrangler. Even with his arm in a sling? Well, Doc says that'll be as good as ever in a couple of days. You're the lad Liz Lambert winged, aren't you? Well, I can explain that, sir. Don't bother, son. Liz and I locked horns 20 years ago. I know what you were up against. You know why she runs her cattle clear over to Tonto instead of here? She gets a better price, I guess. Nope. So she won't have to deal with me. Hates the very sight of me. Hates me so much she won't even set foot in this town. That must be quite a story, Cleve. It's a sad one, Doc. If it's ever told, it'll have to come from her. Well, I guess I could use another hand around the stable. Twenty a month and keep. 
Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Fine. Report to Sam. Tell him you're working for me. Yes, sir. Come over and see me Tuesday. Sure thing, Doc. Thanks. Thanks, Cleve. Sure, Doc. By this time, everybody thought we'd heard the last of the Ben Adams shooting incident. And we probably would have if it hadn't been for Kathy Lambert. Well, hello there. Could I talk to you, Doctor? Sure. Come on in the house where it's cooler. This is quite a surprise. I don't believe I've ever seen you in town before. Well, that's because I've never been. My mother forbids it. Come on in. Found a way? I guess I'm not surprised. I think I was even expecting it. I'd have done it before, but I was too scared. And I'm still scared. Suppose your mother comes after you. I'm over 20. I won't go back. Why'd you pick on me? Well, doctors understand people, and I need advice. <laughs> oh, boy. Sit down. By 20, most girls are given advice, not taking it. I'm sorry, but you have to make up your own mind. Everyone has a right to live their own lives within certain limits. But there's the sticker. The limits. Everyone's are different. That doesn't help much. I hoped you'd say that I was perfectly right in running away. <laughs> Look. Why don't you just stay here in town for a few days and think things over? In the meantime, maybe your mom will be thinking things over on her own and she might change her mind about a good many things. Never. And I'll never go back. Two stubborn women, huh? All right. What are your plans? Well, I'll need money. I'll have to find work. Could you use a hired girl? <laughs> I already have one. Dora Hendricks. Mm. Now, look. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll take you over to Dora's house, and you like her. You can stay there for a few days until we find another place for you. Come on. The young man, the one who was shot. Ben Adams? Yes. How is he? Good as new. He's here in town, isn't he? Yes. Does he intend to stay here? Suppose I just tell Ben to call on you tonight and answer those questions himself. Oh, doctor. Come on. who knew Liz Lambert figured she wouldn't give up her daughter without a battle. Those who saw Al Bixby and the Lambert Cowboys riding into town were sure of it. Hi, Al. Boys. Howdy, Ben. Heard you was working for Harper. Yeah, that's right. You looking for him? He's not here now. No. Liz wants back her stray. Well, don't ask me. Heard something else, too. Heard you seeing the gal pretty regular. Listen, Al, you leave me out of this. I don't know anything about her. Ain't you learned your lesson yet, boy? Now, where are you keeping the gal? I'm not keeping her any place. Look, she came in on her own, and that's the way it is with her. Where is she? You find her yourself. Well, I guess you'll have to work on that sore arm, boys. That ought to make him talk. I'll be back. <laughs> Can't stand to see anything suffer. Let him go. Can't fool around any longer. Speak, boy, quick. Can't stand to see anything suffer, but sudden death don't bother me. Now don't make me throw down on you, boy. 
Just tell us where the girl is so we can take her home to her mama. Well, you listen, Bixby. You listen careful. You go tell Liz Lambert. You tell Liz Lambert. You tell her Kathy's not coming back anymore. You tell her Kathy and me is going to be married. Married? Did you say married? That's right. You're outside the law with that gun, Bixby. None of us are armed. I ain't going to cause any more trouble, Doc. Why didn't you tell me in the first place she's going to marry the gal? Changes the whole picture. At least why it changes it for me. We ain't going to be making any promises for Liz. Come on, boys, let's ride home. Where'd he get you, boy? Well, just in the arm and the stomach. It's all right, Doc. Hey, when did you decide to get married? Well? Well, last evening. Kind of a whirlwind courtship, wasn't it? Kathy know about it yet? Oh, for gosh sakes, quit riding me, will you? I had to think of something to stop old Bixby. Well, that was certainly using your head, son, but what's the young lady going to say when she hears she's engaged? Gosh, I hadn't thought of that. What are you going to do if she says yes? Yeah. <laughs> from some of the neighbors that Liz Lambert sort of went out of her mind when she heard about the marriage. Liz Lambert swore vengeance on me and others who had helped along the romance of Ben and Kathy. She offered every cowhand an extra month's pay and a bottle of whiskey if they'd ride into Rising Springs with her and tear the town apart. There was no question Liz had lost her senses, but her money and whiskey talked. Liz Lambert and her outfit hit town like a whirlwind one night when we were least expecting it. Here goes the first one. All right, where's Harper? Never mind, get out of here. got everything owns in this barn. It was him that gave that cow hand a job and kept him hanging around here. And the meddling doctor. Al, you go back and get the cattle and run them through the town. That'll keep that lousy volunteer fire department from putting this out before it burns the ground. Yes, I, get I, going, Al. I got one more on my list. Cowboys gave the fire a good chance to burn the barn to the ground by running a herd of cattle down the main street. The volunteer fire department couldn't get into action. Cleve Harper had dropped by for a friendly game of cards. This was our usual once a week get together. I'm about as lucky as a sick puff. <laughs> seems to be in a hurry. They generally are. I never have figured out why that old stork flies faster at night than he does in the daytime. Get back where you were, Doc. Ha! Both of you. 
I want my daughter. And Ben Adams. He's working for you, Cleve Harper, so take me to him. Now, look here, Lee. None of your smooth talk. I'll shoot you, so help me. And you, too, for turning Kathy's head. Doc, look. Yeah, both of you. Take a good look. See the fire, Cleve? That's your stable going up. Just half of what's going to happen to you if you don't take me to Kathy. Liz, you must be out of your mind. Put that gun away. Doc's right, Liz. Give me the gun. Keep your distance, Cleve. I said give me the gun, Liz. Watch out for her, Cleve. Don't worry, Doc. She wouldn't shoot me. Stand back, Cleve. Stand back. I won't! Cleve! Oh, oh, no. No, I didn't mean it. Cleve, I warned you. Help me get his coat off. I... Oh, no, I warned you. It's all right, Doc. It's, it's only a powder burn. I think I better put something on it anyway. Oh, no, please. Liz, hand me my coat, will you? I'm going to show you something. How can you forgive me, Cleve? Oh, I forgave you years ago, Liz. Turn around. You know what this is? The ring. Yours. An engagement ring. I bought it that time we had the argument. Before I had a chance to give it to you, Joe Lambert rode into town. He was rich and handsome and reckless. Swept you off your feet. But you didn't ever really love him, did you, Liz? Why didn't you at least see me? Why'd you have to run off and get married just out of spite? Then throughout all these years, blame me. I still love you, Liz. You need me. And I need you. Oh, please. This is a peace party. Liz's horse, she inside? Yes, she's in there. Liz! Listen to me, Liz. Me and the boys are quitting. This ain't no decent kind of fight for us men. We just don't have no heart for it. I don't think she's got the heart for it either, Al. Why don't you boys go on back and fight that fire? Whatever you say, Doc. Reckon Liz will have expense enough paying for tonight's spree. You heard what the doc said. Come on. you love and forgive her. I'm sure she won't ask anything more. Will you come with me, Doc? Sure. Doc! Hey, Doc! Well? Oh, Doc, uh, several folks are hurt. They're asking for you. I'll be there in a minute. You're mad about something. Now, what is it? You told the whole town we were getting married. You told everybody but me. You didn't even ask me whether I'd marry you or not. Well, I'm sorry. I just did it to save a couple of us from getting shot. You what? Is that the only reason? Well, listen, I had to do something to stop Al Bixby. And it's a good thing, too, or I wouldn't be here right now. I tell you I love you, and, and I would like to marry you. But if you're that sore and you don't want to... Well, I didn't say I didn't. Hey, it's one thing at a time. 
you forgotten about your mother? She's inside. I'm going to see her. Would you like to come with me? We'll be all right, Doc. It's the only way it can possibly be, then. You'll never find a better time. Thanks, Doc. And that's the way Ben Adams and Kathy Lambert came to know each other and fall in love and get married. That's the way it happened in Rising Springs Valley. That sprang at Roundup time. <laughs>